This is a first year coding class and it gets the kids the basics of different types of coding. This is our Python program that we just did. We are learning how to do text coding. This is how the game runs. This is the code for what happens if you throw one move or another. I have a high interest in computers and technology and I always have and I feel that I'm pretty good at it. In coding, it requires a lot of creativity and girls love to be creative. And so once girls see that they can create whatever they want, they tend to do exceed expectations and they do really well. Part of our strategic plan when we implemented those classes in the district was to um, get more girls involved. I mean, it's a high demand job field. So we're preparing our students for what comes after school. This is my third class that I've taken. I'm in cybersecurity and we just finished a project about encryption techniques and recovering passwords on like a hack computer. Being a female is, I've never really felt unincluded. It's just always just a student really. And I think it's all very inclusive. I never looked at it as something that was more something that boys did than girls. And I never thought about the fact that there were more boys involved in it than girls, but it does feel really empowering. You ask a kid what, what, what they want to be, and then they, they tell you, oh, I just want to be a veterinarian. Well, guess what? There's now uh, medical fields are using programming to diagnose and to treat. And so every field is using some sort of computer science right now, and that's advancing at a level that we just need more programmers. Helping our young women have any kind of skills that they feel like they can be strong and independent in any career field, I'm proud that we can provide that.